There is often a great deal of confusion surrounding the NPK analysis and application rates of liquid fertilizer products. Fortunately, many manufacturers and amenity companies produce accompanying literature and application rate tables to go along with their products, but to truly understand how they are devised, it is important to understand a little of the concept and regulations relating to the production of the product itself and how the contents must be stated on the container. In so doing, it is then possible to take control of the application rates, make direct comparisons to different products, and ultimately work out the cost effectiveness of the fertilizers you are using. It is really not necessary to have a grasp of the scientific jargon, as you only need to know the MPK analysis of the product you are using. Whether the declared analysis is weight by weight or weight by volume and the specific gravity to undertake the calculation to produce the MPK application rate given a specified amount of product. Put simply, just follow the process. Indeed, we're going to keep the process nice and simple. I'm not going to discuss specific gravity equals density of the object divided by the density of water. I'm not going to discuss density equals mass over volume, expressed as grams per milliliter or grams per litre or milligrams per deciliter. And you'll be glad to know I'm not going to discuss relative density is equal to density of the substance divided by density of water at a specific temperature. But I mention them because, well, yes, they are important scientific principles. But more simply, I mention them because you will come across these values in literature and in particular, Manufacturer Safety Data Sheets, MSDS. So let's look at a few examples and where we might find the information we are looking for. First, go to the Sheriff Amenity website and to the liquid fertilizer products. Here you will find a large range of products from different manufacturers. Clicking on entrenched potassium, for example, we can quickly see the MPK analysis and the specific gravity of the product has been conveniently stated on the information page of the website. But in the manufacturer's safety data sheet, it is stated as relative density, not specific gravity. Again, when we look at the Evolution 2 Pro NPK product, the analysis and specific gravity have also been stated on the information page, but in the MSDS sheet, it is stated in density grams per milliliter. Indeed, the broad range of the specific gravity actually reflects the whole range of Evolution 2 liquid fertilizer products. Ensure is stated as specific gravity on the web page and on the MSDS sheet it is also conveniently stated as specific gravity. Greenmaster Liquid NK you may find the information we are looking for on the manufacturer information sheet as well. On this occasion, the specific gravity is stated as kilograms per litre. So there you go. If you didn't know they existed, they may well stop you in your tracks before you get started on your calculations. 
However, the answer to dealing with all this jargon is simply to throw it all away and let's just call it, well, let's just call it specific gravity. Scientific principles apart, it really doesn't matter so long as we arrive at the correct answer and, of course, keep it simple in doing so. The next step is to work out if your fertilizer product, NPK, is declared as weight by weight or weight by volume. This is important to know because it allows you to compare the NPK value of one liquid fertilizer against another and also determines the calculation you will need to adopt to arrive at the kilograms per hectare of NPK you are applying, given a specific application rate. Again, you don't need to understand their meaning, just how to determine if your product is weight by weight or weight by volume. However, it is quite a simple concept to understand and well worth giving a couple of explanations. So I hope you'll forgive me on this occasion. Weight by weight. This is used where the weight of each chemical is used and not the volume. In other words, if I was to dissolve 10 grams of fat, for instance, in 90 grams of ethanol, so the total mass of the whole solution is 100 grams, then I have made a 10% weight by weight solution of fat. Or weight by weight in a solution will refer to the percentage of substance by weight. For example, a 25% nitrogen product means there is 250 grams of nitrogen for every kilogram of solution, the remainder being water. Weight by volume is used where a solid chemical is dissolved in a liquid. For instance, if I was to dissolve 10 grams of table salt, sodium chloride, to make up a total volume of 100 millilitres of solution, then I have made a 10% weight by volume solution of sodium chloride. Or in fertiliser terms, weight by volume, this is commonly used when a solid is dissolved in a liquid. For example, 10% weight by volume solution means 100 grams of one substance is present for every one litre of another. An example would be 10% nitrogen weight by volume. In this solution, 100 grams of nitrogen is present for every one litre of water. The legislation governing weight by weight or weight by volume declaration is not unsurprisingly laid out by the EU in Article 9 of the Fertiliser Regulations, no less. True to form, these things are in the small print and you have to go searching for it. And there we have it, handily highlighted in red for you. Well, I think we can assume from the regulations, liquid fertilisers are all expressed as weight by weight, unless specified as weight by volume. So there you go. So, now we understand where to find specific gravity, and we also know how to determine if your liquid fertiliser is expressed as weight by weight, or weight by volume. OK, we now have all the information we need to proceed with our calculations. So, calculators at the ready. To calculate liquid fertiliser application rates, the key to all this is the following calculation. Concentration as weight by volume, kilograms per metre cubed, equals concentration as weight by weight, kilograms per tonne, times specific gravity. So let us start with a weight by weight liquid fertilizer product and then compare this to a weight by volume product and you will see the differences more clearly. Fertilizer product 1 has an analysis of 2500 NPK weight by weight and a specific gravity of 1.25 and you want to apply at 50 liters per hectare. 50 liters per hectare times 1.25 specific gravity equals 62.5 62.5 times 25% nitrogen weight by weight divided by 100 equals 15.62 kilograms per hectare 
in case you think this is a difficult calculation to understand don't worry I will show you a much easier way of getting to the same answer and I will tell you about this in a moment in the second example the fertilizer product also has an analysis of 25% nitrogen but this time it is a weight by volume product and you want to apply at the same rate of 50 litres per hectare. 25% weight by volume solution means 250 grams per 1 litre of product or 2.5 kilograms per 10 litre of product. So 2.5 kilograms times 5 or 5 times 10 litre container of product will equal 12.5 kilograms per hectare. So why the difference? Well, if you take the weight by weight percentage and multiply it by the specific gravity, it gives you the weight by volume percentage. This can then be directly converted to grams per litre. Example, 25% nitrogen times 1.25 specific gravity will equal 31.25 weight by volume or 3.125 kilograms per 10 litres of product. 3.125 kilograms times 5 or 5 times 10 litres of container of product will equal 15.625 kilograms per hectare of nitrogen. So you are immediately able to see that you get more nitrogen from product 1 than from product 2 and you can also see that it is an easier way to work out the solution to the calculation. So, in fact, to compare or make both the products equal, the analysis of product 1 would need to be just 20% nitrogen weight by weight. 20% nitrogen weight by volume divided by specific gravity of 1.25 equals 20% weight by weight to begin with. Then, 20% nitrogen times specific gravity of 1.25 is equal to 25% nitrogen weight by volume, the same as product number two. Or look at it another way. Although both products would then be equal to you as a customer, the 25% nitrogen product and not the 20% nitrogen product would look greater value, especially if they are priced the same. Although you are getting exactly the same amount of product in the container. This is why you could argue cynically the weight by volume value tends to be the preferred one on the container. Okay, to summarize, to make the conversion from weight by weight to weight by volume easy, just times weight by weight times the specific gravity. For example, 20 times 1.25 specific gravity will equal 25% weight by volume or 250 grams per litre or indeed 2.5 kilograms per 10 litres. You then just multiply 2.5 kilograms by your application rate to get the nitrogen input per application. 2.5 times 50 litres application rate will equal 12.5 kilograms per hectare. So it stands to reason 100 litres of product would therefore equal 25 kilograms per hectare and so on. Please note a direct comparison between products would require an equal range of nutrients and the same specific gravity. You also have to take into consideration the types of nutrients and other chemistry in the containers. Is the product slow release, such as amine nitrogen found in Entrench, or is it quick release as would be found in Kmax? We can look at liquid fertilizer types in more detail in another presentation. But I would always strongly urge customers to question the value of the NPK analysis and other components of the container they are buying, especially if it is a biostimulant where the percentage of each does not have to be stated. Although Seavolution and AminoTurf and others in the Sheriff Immunity biostimulant range do list percentages, many competitor products do not. Without little knowledge, who's to say you are not buying a container mostly full of expensive water.